Hi guys, in a prior video I showed you how to take apart a swollen 3S battery. Today I'm going to show you how to actually make a 2S battery out of the bad 3S cell. So let's pick up where we left off last time. So this would be the first cell, this one right here. So look at that. Like 0 0.3 volts. So cell number 2 is at 4.2 volts. 4. Point, yeah, 4.2 and this is cell 3 at 4.18 volts. So for the time being I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to convert this into a 2S so I can charge it so I don't lose the cells and um, that's about it. So let's go ahead and remove some of the wires. Almost there, so now I gotta detach this battery. It's a little difficult to desolder it, and I think it's welded to be honest. So if it's welded, I think I'm gonna have to rip it apart. So I'm gonna try to desolder it one more time, and then if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to cut it. Here we go. I actually broke it, which is okay. Because actually, I wanted to have some tab left on this one, not on this one. So this is the tab cell. So, so now next, what I'm going to do is this is my new minus. So let's measure the two two S cell basically at this point. This is a two S. So from here to here, you would expect to have about 8.4. Right there, you guys read it, 8.39, so almost 8.4 volts. So this is my negative terminal. So I'm going to connect this wire back here. Let's see. I apologize about this, it's just very hard to work. All right, so that's a good weld right there. Oh, my toes are burning, and I'm gonna attach this as the balancing wire, balance charging wire. That's good enough. All right, so let me show you guys what we have so far. So I have the negative to the first cell connected to the charging cable and to the common wire that goes to the balancing port and now I'm gonna have to work with the positives because this being a 2S I'm not gonna need um, the third cable which is um, the red one so I'm gonna remove that entirely And I'm going to disconnect the blue one and connect it here. And the middle one, okay, so the red one is totally disconnected. So the yellow one is going to go in the middle right here. Too many wires too close to each other. So let's try this again. Okay. 
All right, so there we go. So at this point, this is, as you guys see, it's a 2S battery with the balancing port. And what I'm gonna do is, um, you know, this wire, you don't have to connect it to any battery, so you can still charge the battery. So next, I wanna add some electrical tape to, uh, you know, insulate the terminals, make sure I don't have any shorts here. And then perhaps I'm gonna add it to, uh, to my balancing charger to show you guys how this will charge and operate just fine as a uh, 2S battery. Would you guys, I'm gonna insulate these guys as good as possible. I'm gonna add some electrical tape over the common terminal, like this. Again, this is just temporary, as I'm not gonna be using this battery, being a 2S for much of anything else. All right, so I gotta take care of these guys. I'm gonna put some tape this way, and then um, that should do. I'm gonna be doing anything like this. Um, you're gonna notice they have sharp edges, so the more tape you add, the better. So you can never have too much, too good of a uh, shielding here. There we go. All right, so this is shielded. Focus again. There we go. So I got two layers of tape under the positive terminal, and now this one I think I'm going to fold it this way or towards the outside because it's actually part of the body. So this and this are at the same potential, I think. So in either case, I'm going to add some tape underneath it before I bend this jaw. this end. Okay. Now again, this is temporary guys. If you were to rebuild this battery and convert it into a 3S, you gotta wrap this whole thing in electrical tape because these walls are very thin you penetrate this sucker just a little bit and it's gonna catch fire. So I'm only doing it like this so I can uh, basically charge it and store it, not for any other reason. All right, so now I can fold this this way. So this is my negative, this is my positive. And by the way, we can remove this red wire from the connector as it's not gonna be needed for the time being. So to remove it, Bring this in focus again. Has a little, this pin has a little latch that you're gonna have to press on, preferably with the peak, and then slide it backwards. And that's it. So I pressed on the latch and then pulled it outside gently. Here it is. So that's the little tab you press on right there. Sort of hard to see. So that's the latch. All right. So once you get your third cell, I'm gonna reuse this wire and um, convert this back to a 3S. So for the time being, it's a 2S. Uh, let's connect the little uh, battery uh, checker. Oops. Oops. I connected the wrong way. There it is. 2C. So that's a uh, two cell. Total voltage 8.37, first cell 4.18, second cell 4.19. Again, 8.37, first cell 4.18, second cell 4.19. So this is a good battery, it's actually charged and is good to use as a 2S, but again, I have no need for that. I'm gonna add more tape here. This is the finished product. This is the 2S cell, all bandaged up, sealed, 
insulated and um, uh, you also have the balancing port for A2S and uh, obviously we're using the cable and everything else. So this was the conversion from a 3S to a 2S. I identified the bad cell, I took it out and uh, the remaining good cells, I'm gonna basically just store them, make sure they stay charged for when one of these other guys is gonna go bad, one of the cells of these guys. Um, I have another three of these. So I'm going to be able to basically build a good battery out of two bad batteries. So for the time being, only one bad battery. So we're going to put that aside. And here's the bad cell. Look at this. Look how puffy it is. Yeah, this is bad. Never ever fly a copter with something that's this puffy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it and found it useful, Please don't forget to give thumbs up so other YouTubers can locate this video and watch it. You can also click on any of the images on the screen for more exciting videos from my channel.